Hello and welcome to this year's 2014 version of the LTC Signing and Interpreting for the Deaf welcome video. It's been a few years since I've created a welcome video and, and though the information probably hasn't changed much since, I thought I would just give an update and kind of bring it up to current. Um, I may be a little bit grayer than the last time I did this. So. I want people to be able to recognize me when I get to LTC. Anyway, that aside, I thought I would go through and kind of give you an idea of what to expect with the LTC videos, um, what they're for, why I do them, how you use them, and what it's used for. Okay? So, with that in mind, the LTC videos are really intended to serve a varied group of people. There's a group of churches that have nobody that does any signing. And the kids there want to do signing. So this video is intended to be uh, teaching where there is no teacher involved. That's not the best situation. I'm hoping that if you are a congregation that has kids that want to do this and do not have somebody that knows signs, that an adult will be reviewing these videos with the kids and helping the kids get their signs right. Okay. At LTC, if you're in that situation before the first session even meets, there's a time set aside that we can get together and I can give you a little bit of one-on-one. -on -one. Just find me, and I, I can't remember what the room's going to be, but it'll be on the schedule somewhere. Uh, and if you miss that schedule, and you find me in the hallway, if you find me at lunch, uh, and you want to practice with me, please feel free to do so. Uh, I really feel like LTC is a place where leadership needs to be exhibited as well as practiced or shown in the uh, uh, in the various sessions. Uh, we as adults need to be showing our leadership to the kids. And this particular event uh, can be a little bit scary. And so I would like to be able to smooth off any rough edges if you feel like you have any. It's also helpful for somebody who learned signs in high school and you don't want to count the days since then and you've gotten maybe a little rusty or you've learned some signs in a previous congregation or something and it's been a while and you just need a refresher. This is for you. Uh, you can use this as, uh, oh, well, oh, that's how he signs that, okay? And um, anyway, so if you're rusty, and if you have questions, you're welcome to send me an email. My email is really easy, paul at lemons.name, and send that to me, and I will try to answer whatever questions we have, whatever questions you might have. Um, now, if you do know signs, okay, even if it's rusty or good, uh, I want you to know that these videos, or all these videos, are not a gold standard. I don't show these to the judges and say, make sure the kids do like this. Sign language has as much uh, variation in um, communication as speech does. If you were to be giving this welcome speech, you would choose different words. You might say exactly the same thing and choose different words. In sign language, it's not much different. I can sign things using different signs than you and say the same thing. So your signs are right. Okay? I'm, there's not going to be any judging down unless you really, really, really use a wrong sign. You know, if I want to say yes and I sign no, that's wrong. Uh, 
But anyway, not the gold standard. Also, the videos are not ASL. Okay. Sometimes I get a little bit of pushback with people who have been doing signing for a long time or people who are very close into the deaf community that ASL is a language that ASL stands for American Sign Language. ASL is a different language. It is not English. Okay? And through a set of simple videos, it's not I'm not really able to teach ASL as a language. Okay? For that it's it takes a lot more than just a few videos. So my signs are going to be somewhat English. Okay? And I'm not going to really apologize for that. The kids are learning no English. So I'm going to speak in their language and I'm going to teach them the signs so that they can understand it. The goal of this is not to create interpreters, but to create interest. And there's a big difference in that. So if you're looking for pure ASL, you might try to find some other YouTube videos. Okay. Also, I don't do C signs. It's not exact English. Most commonly, what I what I'll be doing is called pigeon, and uh, it's kind of uh, you know Spanglish for sign language. It is part English, part ASL, but it's a, I'm trying to make it understandable for the kids. If you teach C signs, and your kid comes up and does C signs there will be nothing marked down. If you teach pure ASL and your kid comes up and does pure ASL, nothing will be marked down. I have noticed in the past that pure ASL, the judges really pay close attention to that. So if you're going to do pure ASL, be sure to do a good job of it. Alright, so how do you use this video? Um, so, it comes in, every song and the scripture comes in three sections. And those sections are first, vocabulary, where I just go through the words of the song and I show you the sign. I say, this is the sign for and. Okay, so amazing, I think amazing. And I may say something about the sign to help the, the student learn or make a connection so that sign makes sense for them. Okay? Go through the vocabulary. And again, this would be so much better if it's not just participant and computer or participant and TV, but participant and mom or and or dad or somebody at church helping them get their hands working right. Okay. Uh, after you get through the vocabulary, then there will be an opportunity to sign the song or the scriptures at a very, very slow speed. I don't even really try to keep the music so much as I do the tempo and the rhythm. But the idea is to learn at this point to take all those individual signs and make them into sentences. We don't speak in individual words. We take the words and we put them together. Sign language is the same way. I don't sign in individual words. I sign in sentences. And it kind of flows together. So one sign flows into another. Kind of like the way letters flow into each other when you're writing in cursive. So as you're going through the second time and it's slow, and it's slow enough to keep up with, alright? Figure, not figure out, but practice getting your signs to flow together. Alright? And in the end, the third time I do this is I do it at 
the same speed with the same recording as what will be live heard at LTC. Okay, so there won't be any surprises. You'll practice if you get through the slow really really well. You're going to get to the fast and go ooh, but just a little bit of practicing, and your your hands will start to do this. And <coughs> um, I think the biggest thing to help in the slow and then the and then the normal is to learn the song in phrases instead of words. In the vocabulary, you're doing words. But when you're doing it in the slow and you're doing it in the, in the, in the quicker, then you need to be doing it in phrases. We speak in phrases. Okay? I speak in sentences. I don't stop after each word. Okay? Signing needs to be done the same way. If you're going to memorize a poem, you memorize it in phrases. There's a reason for that. The same thing happens in sign language. Okay, so now, let's say that you're ready to, to practice the slow or the, or the quick, either one of them. The best way for an adult that doesn't know sign to be able to help with that is to have a TV behind the participant and put me on the TV. Uh, if you've got anything like a, a Roku or uh, an Apple box or a Google box or a smart television or if your computer can hook up to uh, your television in some fashion, it's really pretty simple and that's becoming fairly ubiquitous. A lot of places, a lot of homes now have that capability. If you have that, put me behind them and then you can watch the participant and then watch me at the same time and you can see how the signs kind of differ. Or, and more positively, how they're the same. Alright. That's pretty much what to do with the video. And what we need to be practicing is making the signs smooth, making the signs clear, and I want to emphasize one last thing. Signing is it's a full body thing. Okay? If I were to write or if I were to stand up here and speak to you and I had absolutely no emotion and I just kept talking and talking and talking, even if I was saying the most beautiful thing in the world, you would go to sleep. The songs that have been chosen are beautiful. The scripture is beautiful. So what you need to do is you need to make sure you express the song. Okay? When you sign amazing, it's not amazing. Okay? That's not amazing. Amazing. You know, bend into it a little bit. Don't be afraid to move at the waist. Signing isn't in a box right here. Signing is in a box about right here. Okay? Make your signs large. Show on your face what it is you're feeling about the song. If the song is amazing to you, be amazing. If the song is shine, shine. Okay? Get some push behind it. Don't be afraid to move your feet, okay? Uh, signing is a full body thing. Keep that in mind as you're practicing your signs. You, if, if you feel like you're hamming it up a little bit, you're probably doing it right, all right? Okay, so that's enough for the welcome. That's enough information to get you started. And I think at this point, I'm gonna say goodbye and see you at LTC. But I can't wait to see all of you guys doing this. Alright, so long.